I'm so excited to speak with you guys today. I'm even more excited that Girls by Veva is finally back. I've been waiting on this season for so long. Um, we have two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back to when the series was first renewed for the second season and you found out it was coming back, what excited you the most about returning to these characters? God, getting to be with these guys. Yeah, absolutely. It was, I mean, yes, the characters, but it's also just like the chemistry of being with these women and, and our creative team and this music team. Like it's just, it's such a fun place to go to work. And I, I mean, speaking for myself, I was very interested to see where they were gonna no take us because take us. I felt like we got left in this cliffhanger. And so we were just like, what what are we gonna do next season? And of course they did not disappoint. They did not disappoint. I, I, I think, you know, in any of these, uh, I, I think, I always feel like the greatest part of any of these jobs is the family that's created. And, uh, you know, we'll love each other forever, but, you know, the family is there for a reason. And a season two or even a press, a press day mm -hmm. is about bringing the, bringing the gang back together. And so the first thing you're excited about is there's a reason why these four very incredibly busy and all over the place people will have to be together for about 14 hours a day. And there's nothing better than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you guys have such great chemistry as a group. Um, looking back throughout filming of season two, is there a specific memory or day on set that kind of stands out to you as your favorite that you can't wait for audiences to see? Oh, on set or off? I mean, <laughs> I both. guess I'll never see what happens yeah. off set. <laughs> oh my goodness, what would you, what do you think? I mean, the, the one that's coming to mind is us filming. I always loved the days we're performing our, our big perform, sorry the days we're shooting our big performance. Mm -hmm. And so we have kind of a finale performance in this season as well. And we were at Terminal 5, which is one of the great music venues of New York City. And uh, we all were like crammed into this little dressing room because we didn't want to be apart. And it, we were in between setups and it was like a big shot with a crane and everything. So there were a lot of setup time between shots. And we just were laughing all day long. We were the four of us back there and we were in the most uncomfortable clothes. <laughs> <laughs> just like you know, it takes a lot naked it and just laughing to kind of pull it all together. And oh, it was not so comfortable, funny. but you know, we do anything for the look. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Off stage, it's those moments where we're all kind of crammed together for a day, and uh, on on stage, if we can say that to you, of course we can. Um, you know, I think um, especially because of this particular audience, what's really special is what she said that the moments where we're actually doing a production number. I think the girls are such. That there's so much kind of fumbling and foibling and there's just so much of that and um, I think one of the reasons why you kind of root for them is because when they actually put a production number together, yeah. um, especially after it's edited, mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially after the magic, the movie magic, hap the post-production <laughs> uh -huh. happens, um, you actually, you kind of root for them. They're like, hey, you know, they're pretty good. Yeah. They're uh -huh. dancing together uh -huh. in choreography. They got their harmony. They look good. They're turning on. Like at some, for some reason, the craziness kind of stops when we're performing. And I think uh, that just makes them, that just makes you want to root for them. Yeah, it's also making me think of we had a really fun day on set with Renee and Daniel Breaker and I, and we got oh, to sing. Oh, yes! We got to sing with Daniel, and that was like. Finally! Oh, everybody really, knows you have this great. Oh, he's like one of the great voices of and, all time. Yes, and so to finally get him, yeah. so we got to sing, and we were singing the three of us around yeah. the piano. It was really fun. So fun. I mean, there are so many great, like, Broadway cameos and people in the series. Did you guys kind of feel like right at home seeing people on set and just get so Oh, excited? God. Well, you know, fortunately, like, you know, Tina and Jeff spent a little time on Broadway. That's right. And they're, they're fans of, like, so many. It's just such a diverse group of actors. So, of course, we get, like, the best comedians in the world and a lot of really wonderful writers. But we also have, like, wonderful Broadway people. Gray Henson joining us. This Gray Henson. Like, oh, God, he's so good. Yeah. And obviously, we have Andrew Rannells, who's yeah. just... Like he's he's the he's the fifth member. He really is the fifth member. Um, but group. you know, obviously, you know, there's Ashley and Erica and and you know, any Will Chase know. came last year and that was a rent reunion for me. Um, I don't I don't want to cheat on anybody. Yeah, uh, there's we, so we many. Go, but it ev is, almost everybody comes from this world. And it is no. a, truly an embarrassment of riches that we get to make this show in New York City and have this whole community to draw from. And people are eager to come in and come in and day play. It's yeah. a really fun set to jump into. Yeah, it's a little scary. Probably, yeah. 
but you know, you just let, we don't go. bite. We don't bite. Right. Well, you guys have had such great success on Broadway and then also in music, film, TV. Um, you are playing these comedic heightened characters, but have you been able to relate any of your own experience to anything that's going on with your own character on the show? Absolutely. People always ask me, you know, gosh, who are you relating? Who are you kind of modeling Wiki after? Like, what person? She's so different from you. Who do you have to reach for to create her? And I'm like, you know, there's a part in all of us that's always been trying to stand in the middle of a group of girls. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I actually just, like, you know, swallow that, you know, ridiculous thing all the time. But, you know, Wiki doesn't have to. And I, but I relate to a person that just does, never says no to her inner demons. Totally. I have them too. I just tell my no. Wiki is like, you know, gives them a microphone, you yeah. know. And uh, I just, I love that about her because it's just helpful to kind of see up close. Gosh, this is why you don't behave that way. <laughs> this is why you don't do it. This is what I love about acting as someone who's kind of new to, you know, this whole medium and especially in TV though. It's a, it's a form of radical empathy. Mm. You have to find your way into a storyline that you, you might not live out in your own life, but I mean, you can almost imagine a world where anything is possible. I mean, humans are, we're infinite in that way, you know? So finding your way into their storyline, I think it's also, I would, I bet I could speak for everybody that that is our approach. We wanna make them real. Yeah. We, we wanna make these women three-dimensional and, and relatable and human and, we're all rooting for their most authentic selves yeah. to come through in some way, even as ridiculous as it is. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Instagram Live? Hey. It's Girls by Eva, and we're here with a surprise first look at us in the studio. The eyeball icon thing is saying zero. It's just us in here. It's just us in here. Oh. Cease and desist, bitches. Girls Five Eva are hoping to become two hit wonders. We are officially in album mode. Yeah, we do it live. Finally, we're in charge of the set. No more singing whatever crap they give us. Half our old songs weren't even spell checked. We don't want no average jokes, so you better be rolling in some dud. We're back in biz. Yeah, we do it live. We need the album done in six weeks. That, that's fast. I know people over 30 tend to have other things in their lives. I have a kid, <gasps> but she never talks to me, so I'm via veil. Okay. Girls five Eva. You're a producer? We got another toxic dude on our hands. Cool, cool. I don't think I saw him sniff our chair. He didn't. Did he take his dick out? Not that I would notice. They are so boring to me. We got, we got, we got. Momentum, yeah, um, it's our moment. We just have to make the most undeniable album of all time. What you got there, Vic? My riff Rolodex. All the greats are in here. Yeah, yeah. Our album drops in a month. We need to make noise now. They're shooting a music video. How open should my mouth be in a shot? Like, or two. Let's hit it. You wrote all of the songs on the album, so if everybody hates it, it means that they hate you as a person on every level. Jesus, Summer. What? Oh, no. Momentum.